What's up boys and girls, this is Yeager here and it's time to get the basics of British. Firstly, in terms of the civilization bonus, the British houses are called the manor houses and they cost 25 more wood in comparison to the typical house of the European civilization. But each time you build one manor house, you will get one settler spawn just next to it. You also have to keep in mind that you cannot destroy or delete these manor houses, so the only way they can be destroyed is by your opponent. There are several cards that can be sent through the home city that would make your houses more unique, such as make them slowly heal nearby units, build instantly, make them cheaper, or be able to train settlers by them slowly. Each standard game with British you will spawn with a town center, 300 wood, 200 food, 1 explorer yes. and 6 settlers. In a standard game with British you can build 18 different buildings with the settler and 4 different buildings with the explorer. So the explorer can build the town center, trade post, the fort and the outpost. And as for the settler, he can build the outpost, town center, barracks, stable, artillery foundry, the tavern, the church, manor houses, market, the mill which is your infinite source of food, the estate or the plantation which is your infinite source of coin, capital which you can build and upgrade your capital upgrades post imperial, the livestock pen which can be used to train livestock animals which for the case of British they can train the cows by sending a card through the home city shipment and also train the ship and can be used to fatten these livestock animals faster and got the arsenal which can be used to boost your military units even further by taking the arsenal upgrades the walls and the native embassy and finally the dock can be used to build in the water maps to train the naval units other than the buildings that you can build with your explorer and the settler you can also get two factories through the home city shipments only and these buildings are not replaceable so you always want to protect them as much as possible because you will be getting resource trickles which you can toggle either between food, wood and coin and then also you can upgrade the factory so by default they have resource trickle of 5.5 by default and once you get their upgrades they will be upgraded to 7.15 and then also through British you can train your unique artillery as well which is the rocket you can also get the training speed bonus as well through the factory and also you can upgrade it to imperial once you hit imperial British is the best livestock booming inside the game just because of the four livestock card that they have so their livestock fatten really fast and the settlers gather really fast from the livestock as well these are all the units that you could be seeing playing as British or versus British. The settler, which can build all the buildings, yes. the explorer and the explorer dog. Through the barracks, the you got the longbow, which is good against heavy infantry. Yes. You got the musketeer, which is good against cavalry. Yes, the pikeman, which is good at sieging with high siege damage and also good against cavalry. Through the stable, got yes. the Hussar, which is a heavy cavalry that is strong against rifle unit and archer type, aka known as light infantry, and also good against artilleries. And the dragon, which is a range cavalry that is strong against heavy cavalry and artilleries. And through the artillery foundry, can train yes. the grenadier, which is strong against infantry and sieging buildings. The falconet which is good against infantry and sieging, the mortar that is only meant to siege, the coverin that is good against artilleries, the horse artillery that is strong against infantry, the pitars that are strong against buildings and it's a suicide unit, and the rockets that as I've explained earlier you will be getting only through the factory and the home city shipment points and it's good against infantry. And through the church you can train two different yes. units which is the priest which is your healer that can heal nearby units Ready. and also the spy which is good against mercenaries and also explorers and also by sending card through the home city shipment you will be also 
able to train the Ronins through the tavern. And these are some of the unique mercenaries and units or native units that you can send through the home city shipment point only. So the Elmeros, which is a heavy cavalry, Jad Lancer, which is a heavy cavalry, just like the Elmero, and Hussar is strong against infantry and artillery. The Arc Abuser, which is a heavy range cavalry that just have a really strong melee and range attack and the range attack has a splash as well yeah. the Totenko of Hussar which is a really strong native unit that doesn't require any population and also has a really strong charge attack yeah. the Jaeger the Rifleman which both of these units are strong against heavy infantry the Zouav which is a really strong infantry that has a really high HP and high resistance with high damage. The drummer, which is really good to keep next to nearby units to boost their movement speed and attack speed. There is the Archon, which is a musketeer type, strong against cavalry. The Irish Brigadiers, strong against cavalry. The Giant Grenadier, really strong unit with their splash damage, they can almost destroy everything as long as you have the numbers and also in melee they are strong against cavalry the highlander which is also another musketeer type unit which is also strong against cavalry the swiss pike which is just like the regular pike but with better stats it is good at sieging and also good at countering cavalry and also you can send the sergeant through the home city which can build the field hospital and also heal nearby units. And also got the Lil Bombard, which is a really strong artillery. And once again, this could be trained through the tavern or can be sent through the home city shipment. British can also train the Rangers, which are a rifle infantry that is good against any infantry. But then as soon as they get this ability, they won't be able to train the longbows anymore. Now we move to the naval units. First they got the fishing boat that can be used to gather water resources. The caravel that can be also used to gather the resources in the water and at the same time can use for the transport and attacking and scouting. There is the galleon which can train units. There is the frigate which is a high HP warship with charge attack and also really high base attack. And there is the monitor which has the long range target ability with 70 range and can be used to target building. They are really strong against buildings and warship. And of course there is the mighty battleship which can be only sent through the home city shipment. Has a really high attack speed with high HP. It's a really solid battleship. As for the age of options from age 1 to age 2, there are the options of 1 outpost wagon and 200 coin, 2 settler and 2 semi fattened cow, 500 food, and for 900 food age which is 100 extra food cost, you will be able to get 1 arsenal wagon and 1 free arsenal tech. So it doesn't matter which arsenal tech that you choose, the first arsenal tech that you choose from the arsenal will be completely free regardless of the resources and the water balloon ability for the explorer from h2 to h3 you can age up with the seven hodenashani tomahawks and one native scout or age up with the one caravel and 300 wood or seven longbows or the one covered wagon or at last is the ability to get the Jaegers and the Archibusers to be enabled inside the tavern. As for the Aja from H3 to H4, get the option of 2 Falconet, 1000 coin, 5 Settler and 500 food, 10 Musketeer and 1 Fort Wagon. Just have to keep in mind that this fort wagon is a one-time building and you won't be able to rebuild it again unless you have sent the H4 card. As for the age of options to Imperial, you can either choose between 2000 coin, 
or three rockets or improve your mercenary and outlaw combat or boost your explorer by getting a free research of the knighthood and peerage or aging up with the six drummers which i've shown and explained the unit to you earlier after industrial with british you can either choose to go imperial or go with either of these revolt options which is the united states the egypt south africa or the canada each of these revolts i will explain them in a different video because it will make this video lengthy but just to let you know this is almost like a different strategy so depending on your build order you might want to go for either of these or go with the normal imperial british so this is all for british basics based on your build order strategy and the game mode that you're playing you may choose either of those different units age of options or the revolt options and if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like and subscribe so i will be encouraged to do more of these videos for the other civilization and if you have any question make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below i will be answering all of the comments as soon as possible so as usual i hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe have fun and goodbye